Hey, welcome back and thank you for watching this video. Uh, we've got another bookkeeping tip for you here today. We're going to be in QuickBooks Online and talking about the bank feed specifically. Um, now, there's a commonly made mistake that I see with people who are just starting their uh, QuickBooks Online accounts uh, when they get into actually categorizing the transactions. And that's going to talk about when they incorrectly exclude transactions. So we're going to talk about how people commonly make that mistake, um, why they do that, and the effect that it has on their QuickBooks. And then we'll look at that exclude tool and talk about when do you actually want to use that. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, so just to review, um, here within QuickBooks in the bank feed, we do have the for review tab. Now these are all the transactions. If we scroll down here, we're going to look at these are the transactions that are coming from the bank's website into QuickBooks Online. And these are any of our expenses or um, any transactions we're spending money, I should say, or deposits that we're making into this account. So um, as we are here under the MasterCard account, you can see um, we're going to look at this list of uh, transactions. Now, let's go in and look at, for example, this squeaky clean car. Okay, If I'm the business owner and I look at this and I say, okay, um, this was squeaky clean car. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought a car wash uh, for my own personal car. It had nothing to do with the business at all. So the commonly made mistake that business owners will make when they're getting going with QuickBooks, they'll look at that and they're like, no, that's a personal expense. So I don't even want to categorize that because if I categorize it, that means I'm saying it's a business expense. That's not exactly right. But what they continue to do, uh, they check this and I, now I've got that squeaky clean car wash uh, checked. I click exclude. Boom. All right. Not going to include that in my business uh, bookkeeping. We're good to go, right? Wrong. Uh, what we've actually done now, we've excluded that, and if we take a step back, uh, we're going to remember that when we reconcile a bank account uh, or a credit card in this instance, when we reconcile one of those, we're double checking our work. So we're trying to make sure that what's on the bank statement or the credit card statement matches exactly what's in QuickBooks. Now that we have excluded that $19.99 charge at Squeaky Clean Car Wash, we're not going to be able to reconcile because we're going to be off by $19.99. So instead of excluding, I'm going to show you what we can do. And number one, if you have excluded any transactions um, incorrectly, you can always click on excluded, come down and hit undo. That is going to take that transaction out of excluded and it's going to put it back into for review. So we've got a bag in the rotation here to be categorized and we can go through and properly categorize it the way it needs to be. So we go back, we find that squeaky clean car wash. We open it up. Now the first thing we want to do, always, always, always recommended, put in the vendor name. And that's going to be squeaky. Okay, now we can get that to pre-fill. Now, we got to categorize this somewhere. We don't want to put it into a business expense and claim a deduction for the business on it. So if we just start typing in personal, let's see what pops up. Hey, we've got an equity account here. It says personal expense. So now what this looks like is as the owner of the business, I spent money on a car wash that was not for the business. So I'm pulling money out of the business. Um, now, Speak with your tax preparer to see exactly what account you should take this to. Um, but you'll see things like owner's pay and personal expense or owner's draw or uh, you know partner distributions. Those are all equity accounts. Um, and depending on what kind of entity you have set up, those are places you can take this category. So it's not reflected as a business expense. You get it categorized properly, but you're still going to be able to reconcile this at the end of the month. You're still going to be able to check off this one transaction for $19.99 as you go through that whole reconciling process. So um, last step would just be to go ahead and finish it out by clicking Add. Now it's going to be in there. It's categorized properly um, to where you are going to be able to see that within your financial reports. So hope that clears up when you use 
the uh, exclude tool and when not to use it. If you have any questions on this or anything else bookkeeping related, please reach out to me. Uh, let me know. Love answering questions, helping people about QuickBooks. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for, thanks for watching.